Hi foodies, welcome to Mellow Bites. Biryani is an emotion for all foodies and imagine when your bestie takes you to the best place for biryani in Dindakal. Interesting, isn't it? Let's get straight into the video. We visited Shiva Biryani in Dindakal. This Shiva Biryani was recently opened branch of theirs and we are quite excited to try this biryani out there. But unfortunately, it was Almost 3 p.m. when we visited for lunch because we were having great time in and around Dindukal visiting various shopping places. We were quite exhausted and tired and we wanted to definitely try the best dish out there. Since it was 3 p.m. they said that only few dishes are left out but of course biryani was there then why wait and we decided to try whatever is available there. So, the server said that the biryani is available whether empty or mutton. Mutton biryani was available for half plate, quarter plate or full plate also. They also had mutton chukka and chavarati and we definitely wanted to try whatever is available there because we were left with only few options. Mutton chukka and the spleen, the chavarati came very fast before the biryani was served. We thought we would wait until the mutton biryani arrived but the drooling and the appetizing color look of the mutton chukka denied to be resisted. Bhargav just pulled a chunk of meat and put it in his mouth. He loved it. Purna loved the spongy texture and the spiciness of the mutton. Rohit felt that it was finger licking good. We ordered just half plate of mutton biryani for everyone. Out of curiosity, I started just analyzing how the biryani is, how the mutton pieces in biryani is cooked, how the taste is and I just put it in mouth. It was just amazing at the very first mouth of the biryani. The server then bought raita and started serving raita all around. And also he served some dalcha for the mutton biryani. tried the mutton biryani with the dalcha and the raita. She is one biryani lover and she said that it's just awesome. Let's hear from Ramya what's much more special about this biryani. So as said they bought that pepper colombo right over for the biryani and Rohit tried the combo of this pepper colombo along with biryani. Then we tried out the spleen. The spleen was looking nice, dark and peppery along with the aroma of curry leaves. And the spleen was truly so so good. We loved it. I also ordered white rice and rasam for the side and they bought some white rice and they topped it over with rasam. I felt that having white rice and rasam would make a complete meal but no one else wanted it. So I had this white rice and rasam with leftover mutton chukka and I enjoyed that very much too. Overall though we were very late, we missed lot of dishes. We had a very yummy drooling food at Shiva Biryani. Filling our tummy with these yummy food I tried to pay with the card. They didn't have any card facility available over there. And they said GPay was available. But unfortunately, I didn't have GPay too. So finally, we ended up paying with the cash. And we didn't forget to get a parcel of this Shiva biryani for our dinner because it was such an amazing biryani. So we would really greatly recommend this Shiva biryani when you visit Dindukal. Don't forget to try this Shiva biryani. Hope you enjoyed watching. Meet you in another video. Bye.